and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm going to be riding the Honda Navi on St. Anthony Church Road, which is also known as Hot Rod Haven, or at least one of these streets known as Hot Rod Haven around here. I had done a video a while back that talked about the uh, urban legends around Hot Rod Haven, both this version and the the one that's over in Fairdale. Uh, I believe that's Mitchell Hill Road. Now this car is not going to be too happy because this is a small bike that uh, cannot do full speed uphill. But yeah, there's a... Uh, oh man, this road is in terrible shape. Let's see. I'll go up here. So there's a cemetery up here. Let's ride through. And then uh, down the hill, on the other side of this, you're looking down over the Dixie Highway area. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Cooler than that. You ain't seen many of them around, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's got. Yeah, yeah, they're cool bikes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still breaking this one in a little bit, but. Right at Yeah, I just hit 200, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're cool bikes. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun. Let's see, where am I gonna go? Uh, I guess I'll go right. All right. Ah. Yeah. So this is St. Anthony Church Road. I don't think there's an apostrophe S, just St. Anthony Church Road. It's known as Hot Rod Haven, one of the nicknames. It's a road where people used to ride through and sports cars and motorcycles and hot rod them and go through here quickly. Like I said, Mitchell Hill Road in the Fairdale area also has that same nickname slash moniker. Um, and that one has urban legends like a ghost girl that you can see, but uh, as far as I'm aware, this is just a road that people used to hot rod through. So I know that my uh, dad and his friends had stories about hot rodding stuff through here in the late 70s and 80s. I will say this road is a very uh, pothole filled. So if you're looking for someone to ride through, somewhere to ride through on a motorcycle, this may not be your best bet. Because I'm having to kind of keep pretty good track of what's on the road here. It's uh, a lot of potholes. And the, the wheels and tires on the Navi, they're not very big. So you may uh, wreck into something if you're not paying attention. Um goodness maybe it's a little bit smoother from this point yes yeah, so I would not uh, uh. I would not really recommend this road for your joyride and cruising maybe a decade ago is in better shape because like when I had a motorcycle the last time a while back 
cool Honda CBR sports bike. I rode it through here a few times. And I don't remember the roads being quite this bad back then. Uh, uh. <laughs> There's a nice pothole over there that has a cone in it. A road cone. So yeah, this is a... Uh, not exactly a road that I would say you should go ride on. Uh, especially at nighttime, where it'd be harder to see what you're doing. And then of course they're turning the same way I am. I don't want to turn around. Alright, because I don't quite want to go that way. Yeah, but I'd seen uh, a few people in the comments locally talk about having uh, Honda Navis to the area. They're looking to get one. I know my brother was kind of interested in finding one. But uh, he had talked about maybe getting a, a Grom. And I had looked at the Grom. I, what I really wanted was the Trail 125. Those are just really hard to find. And they cost uh, roughly double what the Navi does. And I have some uh, e-bikes that have some on-road, off-road capabilities. So I think I get my off-road uh, kicks fulfilled by the e-bike but because the trail 125 when you have a gas you know like a street legal dual sport bike you can't just take that anywhere you need to have trails that you're okay to ride on this one gives you approval as opposed to a uh, e-bike it's a little bit more lenient I know that some some places they don't want you to take them on you know single track mountain bike trails which i understand because i think you know after doing a bit of research the main problem i think that in terms of like maintenance of the trail that you run into with an e-bike is when they have throttles you can spin the tire and tear up the terrain a little bit more than you could on a you know pedal only mountain bike or a pedal assist only e-bike you can't really spin the tires in the same way and tear up the uh, dirt and you know I personally would ride responsibly but not everybody would and then you have somebody ripping through a trail at 30 miles an hour I mean not that people don't already do that on the standard mountain bike that's not electric or anything, but ah, come on. Yeah, well, this is just going back out the other end of uh, St. Anthony Church Road. Going back past the uh, cemetery and everything so if you're looking for roads to if you were to get a navi and you were looking for a road to go ride it on i wouldn't really recommend saint anthony church road because there's some pretty bad potholes and this bike having a relatively smaller set of wheels and tires that could be treacherous especially at nighttime when you can't see stuff as well and the speed limit is 35 but people like to go far faster like this car behind me
and the view coming down the hill is a little bit more impressive in the fall and the winter when the trees are more bare and you can see further out you know as it is it's still still a fine view but a little bit more impressive when uh you can actually see further out because i'm not gonna go down that way because that you can go to uh waverly park but i think i'm more interested in getting this ride wrapped up pretty soon Yeah, that was going on St. Anthony Church Road, going uh, down the road known as Hot Rod Haven, so I'm going to turn in here, which is an elementary school, to sign off and take this GoPro off my helmet. This is Bertha Trunnell Elementary School. Yeah, but this is out in the general kind of Dixie Highway area. I guess that'd be technically PRP. If you take it all the way through, it takes you out to uh, Old Third that you can take to the kind of Airquay Park area or to, to uh, Fairdale. Yeah, so that'll wrap up this ride where I went down St. Anthony Church Road, which is also known as Hot Rod Haven. But yeah, that'll wrap up this ride. Until next time.